Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Sergeant Stanley. And I'm going to tell you a couple reasons why I think a Honda Accord is a good choice for a, um, for a project car. So, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so um, before I begin, I apologize for my ratty clothes. Uh, I was at the junkyard today looking for some spare parts, and I actually happened to find some, and I hope to be able to discuss what I found in another video. But for until now, this is the main topic of the video, is discussing why a Honda Civic, it doesn't even matter what generation Honda Civic, is a good choice for at least someone who's wanting to get into car tuning and being a car enthusiast um, the most important reason is the car itself the car now this particular honda civic civic from this typical era of the, of the, of the mid to late 90s could definitely be bought for very cheaply now earlier 90s models might be a little bit harder to find but like i said they're typically pretty cheap usually you know one to three k now i bought this particular honda civic hatchback for about a thousand dollars now granted he did have it up originally for 1700 but after a while, he, uh, he dropped the price. Typically, any sort of Honda Civic, even, even any Accord, that for that matter, uh, can typically be picked up for under, under at least $3,500. Unless, however, it has been modified previously. Now, even stock examples can run up to $3,000, but in those cases, it might be in very pristine condition. Now, this one is in definitely in pretty good condition. However, it could be a little bit better. I mean, there are just, you know, a couple scuffs and dents and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, it's nothing too serious. Anyway, let's move on to the next reason why I think a Honda Civic is a good project. Next point I'd like to point out is, of course, not only the engine, but the engine bay. The engine bay can fit a magnitude of engines, including the 100D series, B series, K series, and even sometimes even bigger engines like well, a 2JG, I suppose, and also, in other cases, an LS swap. However, I, of course, because of, you know, my budget, I decided to go with a DC series build because I feel like it's a cheaper alternative, and I feel that's just kind of my, how I want to do it. Now, don't get me wrong, the DC series engine is not a bad engine. You can do a lot of what work with it. Granted, you're not going to get a lot of power unless you turbocharge or supercharge it. But there is definitely is a lot of potential here. Another thing I like to discuss is the availability of parts. Typically, parts are pretty easy to find for these old Civics. I mean, just today I found this. This is a partial shelf for the back hatch. I found it out of a hatch that was the same color, the same trim, and the same transmission, just a slightly newer model as this car. Well, I mean, slightly newer as in, as in the year, not like new generation. But typically, parts for these old Hondas are pretty easy to find, and they're pretty cheap, too. I mean, you could literally build a Honda out of all the parts you can get from a junkyard. <laughs> so, you know, it's, it's, a lot, it's a lot of available parts. I mean, you're not going to find parts for, like, the older Hondas, like the EFs or the EGs, but the EKs in particular, you're going to find a lot of parts for it. So I guess I should rename this, uh, rename this um, list why you should buy an EK hatch, not just a Civic. But uh, we'll, just, we'll just ignore that. Last reason, they're fun. Even in their stock form, I, I, I had a lot of fun, I have a lot of fun driving this car even in its stock form. Yes, it only has 100 horsepower, but with the five-speed manual, it makes up the difference. You know, it's really fun to drive and just just push that rev at, at, at the uh, RPMs just a little higher every time. You know, first it's four thousand, then it's five thousand. You keep going up. Now, you know, I'm not a purist or anything. I'm not going to be the kind of guy who's going to keep it the way it is. I am definitely a purist on some certain things. Like for example, I have to have OEM floor mats. That's just that's just my my deal. You know, um, but you know. Even if you're not into modifying cars, you just want a fun little car to tote around in. Honestly, a, a Civic like this isn't that bad of a choice. Now, granted, my Civic's kind of kind of had a little little wear and tear, but that's pretty much box standard for 
for Maine anyway, you know, with all the rust and stuff like that. But these cars are very fun to drive and very easy to maintain, very easy to fix, very easy to modify, and they're very cheap and easy to maintain and run. And, you know, I still see these old EKs and EGs on the road today. It just goes to show that these cars will just never die. Well, I think that's it for this video. Uh, I'll talk to you guys later.